I actually just got a message from Barney as well saying that he got told off twice by security for filming. So thanks for the um, resilience. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Around the World with Alex. This week I have managed to catch up with Barney who is our Royal Flesh Crew member as of this year. So he is a recent addition to the World Poker Tour and he is an English expat. He's been living in India, I believe, for a few number of years now. I wanted to see how much of the English traditional spirit he has left within him or whether India has completely taken over his heart. Look who it is! <laughs> How's it going, Barney? Oh, amazing! It's so good to see you. It's been a while, actually. We last saw each other in June, right? Summer is long gone. So, seeing as you are an English expat living in India... Both countries, arguably, are very fond of their cuisine and are very proud of certain home comforts. Now, I've put together a little would-you-rather Indian-English version. So what we've got right. is we've got two types of cuisine. One is English, one is Indian, and I'm going to present them to you, and as soon as you can, I want you to say which one you would rather. Okay, I like the style. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Forks or fingers? Oh, um, forks for the most part. I'm still British there. <laughs> naan or white bread roll? Oh, come on. There's no contest. It's got to be a nice, fresh naan from the tandoor oven. And over yeah. here, they're really thin, crispy. We have them with butter, garlic, and sometimes cheese. Sounds healthy. <laughs> Beef or chicken? Ah, well, I'm going to say beef. The twist of this is that even though in the most parts of India, beef is uh, obviously the Hindu sacred animal, here in yeah. Goa, it, it was a Portuguese colony, and so there's lots of Catholics, and beef is on the menu. Tikka masala or vindaloo? Ah. <laughs> yeah, vindaloo. Because actually tikka masala is not even Indian. It was made in Scotland, apparently. Yes, I think they used some Heinz tomato ketchup in the original. <laughs> Samosa or a pasty? Samosa. Builder's tea or masala chai? Ah, I'm not a big tea drinker, but I do like a little chai with my puri bhaji when I go down to the local cafe. Okay. Fudge or barfi? Ah, uh, barfi, yeah. Bar no, barfi sounds like something you're going to do after a bad meal. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll go for the local burfi, yeah. Uh, especially the pistachio burfi, my favourite. Hmm. Okay, now last one. A Braeburn or a bead custard apple? Ooh, um, every day of the week it's a Braeburn. Really? Yeah. yeah, I love an apple, whereas the custard apple is way sweet. Almost too sweet for a fruit. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's almost like a cross between an armadillo and an apple. It's got these scales on the outside and it's all sort of gooey and uh, custardy. It's nothing like an apple at all, actually. <laughs> Well, it doesn't sound like we've completely lost you, Barney. There is still very much the essence of England residing within your spirit. But it also sounds like you really know what you're talking about when it comes to India, and you are definitely very much within the spirit and the culture of the country, which is really nice. Yeah, I mean, I've been here long enough to absorb enough of it. In fact, I think you should come here and experience it for yourself someday soon. I know you'd love it. You've definitely inspired me to come over. It was lovely to catch up with you. See you on the felt, as they say. See you the on the felt, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to see you. Great, thanks for calling. Bye-bye. So thank you so much guys for watching another episode of Around the World with Alex. Stay tuned for next week when we'll be catching up with another member of the World Poker Tour. Who knows who it will be and who knows where we will be. But stay tuned and I'll see you next week.